Hi, I'm Kara with Team Peace. Let's take a few minutes to strengthen our nervous systems together. In today's practice, we're going to practice thinking about positive things or things that we're grateful for. But before we do that, I'm gonna invite you to just take a few moments to check in with where you are on the nervous system ladder. So do what you need to do to start to tune into yourself, whether that's a little movement or stretch or a couple of breaths so that you can really zone in to your own nervous system state. So I wanna just take a minute to talk to you about the negativity bias. We as humans, because of how our brains have evolved, have a tendency to focus on and remember the things that are the most embarrassing or harmful, kind of the more negative things. And this is because long, long ago, we had to be really aware of our surroundings to make sure that there wasn't an animal that was going to eat us, right? So we now in our modern environment have many more protections. We have solid houses and we have cars we can drive in and we have um, coats and shoes and clothes that help to protect us more than humans had thousands of years ago. And because of that, we don't have to have such an alertness to things that might be harming to us. However, our brains have not evolved to understand that. And so they still function in a little bit of that mode of looking around, being aware of the things that might be harmful or hurtful. And we tend to remember those things as a way to keep us alive, to protect us and to help us survive. And so the pathways in our brain, some of the neural pathways have a tendency toward focusing a little more on the negative things. And we have to work a little harder to build the neural pathways in our brains that remember and really focus on the positive things. And one way to do this is to do this meditation that we are about to do. And it's about focusing on things that are positive and pleasant, focusing on things that we're grateful for. Another practice that you can do just in your daily life is making a list of things that you're grateful for. And that can help to build the part of your brain that helps you to remember and really acknowledge and savor those things that are pleasant and positive. We'll start this practice by making sure that you get in a comfortable position. Of course, you can do this standing. If seated is more comfortable for you, feel free to get yourself ready there. And this is a mindfulness practice, kind of a meditation practice or a visualization. So it's fine if you close your eyes or if you wanna just soften your gaze and kind of look down at one spot, that can be helpful to turn your awareness inward. Take a moment to just notice a few breaths. And again, notice how you are feeling in this moment. Next, I'll invite you to think about something positive in your life, something you are grateful for. It could be a person or an event or an achievement, anything that makes you happy. You can use all of your senses as you bring this thing or person to mind. Are there sounds, sights, textures, smells, or anything else that you associate with this thing? It's okay if it brings a slight smile to your face. So you're welcome to let that happen if that feels natural. And perhaps there is one word that represents this pleasant thing or how you are feeling right now. 
you could say that word to yourself silently a few times. Notice how it feels in your body as you spend some time thinking about this positive thing. Perhaps you notice relaxation, warmth, or lightness. Maybe you notice a smile or some other good feeling inside. Or for some of you, perhaps it's none of those things, and that's fine too. In fact, this might feel very new or unfamiliar since many of us aren't used to this kind of practice. What does it feel like to savor pleasant experiences and express gratitude? We're not trying to make anything special happen. We're just noticing what happens if we bring our attention to something that's pleasant, something that we are grateful for. And if or when the feeling starts to fade, you can see if you can recall the image or word or that sense memory again, but there's no need to force it. And if you'd like, you're welcome to take a moment to silently express some appreciation for this positive thing in your life and the way it makes you feel. As we bring this practice to a close, notice your breath, just taking a few breaths in and out. Also notice how you're feeling throughout the rest of your body. And as you're ready, you can start to move your eyes back upward or open if they were closed and take a few moments to stretch in any way that feels good to you. As always, it's good to just check in to see how you're feeling before we end. Thanks so much for practicing with Team Peace today.